did you know that you can take an old broken down laptop and make an external monitor from it? Well, it's true. This is an old laptop that my kids used to use. And from years of abuse and neglect and a lot of water spilled on it, it became completely unfunctional. So I got to thinking, I know the screen is still good. What can I do with it? So I found out that you can take the screen out of an old laptop like this and make it into a portable external monitor on the cheap. So let's do it. Hey guys, this is Carl from Techful Goodies. And this is the monitor that I took out of that old laptop. It wasn't that difficult to do. All I had to do was pull off the external plastic bezel. And then there was just a couple of screws holding it in as well as a small connector on the back here. So after a little bit of research, I actually found that once you get the monitor out and you know it's working, all you actually have to do in order to use this as an external monitor or an external portable monitor is to take a look on the back of each one of the monitor devices. And you can see that there is a LTN number in this particular case, LTN140KT07. And you actually have to take that number, go into something like Amazon, I'll show it up here on the screen, type that number in and what you'll end up finding is a converter board that allows you to plug it into the back of this salvage display board and it basically turns it into an HDMI device. So that's what I've got here. So as you can see, I've got the small device here as, as well as a 12 volt to four amp adapter. And this just basically provides power to the screen and to the controller board. So let's take a little closer look at this board. It basically comes all connected like this. As you see here, you have your cable that goes directly to the monitor itself on the back. You'll have to plug this in. And then you have a controller board. This has all your different controllers, like your on off, your LED indicator, your select button, your right left menu and auto. Now, I don't know if every one of these buttons is gonna work for this board or how it will work, but this board is specifically made for this panel so everything on here should work pretty good. On the back of this board, it has all the different display ports that you can use with this panel. You have HDMI in, DVI in, VGA in, a PC audio in and out port. So let's go ahead and hook it all up and see how it works. The first thing you want to do is hook this up to the back of the monitor itself. As you can see, there is a little connector here. It's very small and kind of difficult to get to. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that difficult to plug it in. Now, I don't know if it's very hard to see, but I'll try to show it a little closer. Basically, you just slide the little connector right under the small piece of metal. Make sure that the contact points are pointed down towards the board and make sure you have a nice firm connection. When you're ready to make this permanent, you can put some tape on here to make sure that it stays in place. So now, the last two things we have to do is hook up the power and the HDMI signal. So from my DC adapter, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it straight in to the power port here. And as you can see right away, we've got a no signal on the device, on the panel, LED showing that the power is on and the on and off should be able to work. Yep, that's working. Green is showing that it's starting up, no signal, and then red when it detects no signal. So let's go ahead and plug a signal in. So I'm gonna plug the HDMI in from my computer So my computer has recognized the external device. And there we go. I have signal. So now I've basically taken an old laptop screen, hooked it up to a couple of pretty inexpensive devices, and I have a fully portable external monitor. Now I can use this for whatever I want. Let's take a look at the menu. So as you can see, it has a pretty standard menu, just like any other display. I can change the brightness, gamma, contrast, all the different options you would expect from an external monitor. Now, at this point in time, it's my choice or your choice if you decide to do this, how you want to manage all this stuff right here. In this particular case, I'm gonna end up double-sided taping it to the back of the monitor, but you can come up with a pretty elaborate design on your own. But for me, just a utility of having this little extra monitor from something that was garbage is awesome. So what I can also do 
is simply take something like this little phone mount, put the monitor on there, so I can go ahead and start to use it right away. Let's take a look. It's 1600 by 900 recommended, but 1920 by 1080 is supported. I'll go ahead and keep these changes. And there we go. 1920 by 1080 display monitor ready to be used at any point in time. So hopefully that was helpful. All it took was a little bit of time to pull out the old monitor from my laptop, pick something like this up on Amazon, hook up a couple wires and it works right away. If you're interested in seeing me take this a little step farther and trying to find a nice way to kind of mount this and mount this to a board so that I have a pretty stable device, let me know down in the comments. But for now, I just wanted to show you that that's something that's possible. And I always love taking something that's old and broken and refurbishing it in such a way that it becomes useful again. And if you're gonna do this, please share your results with me. I'd love to see it. And if you found this helpful, at least click like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're so inclined, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to see you back. But for now, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out. <laughs>